Here to react to all of this week's breaking news, Fox News contributor Newt Gingrich. I'm not sure if I'm going to get a call from you maybe in about a month or so saying that I'm pushing the envelope too hard, I'm vetting Kamala too hard. Uh, clearly, they are testing Kamala Harris. I, there's no way you will ever convince me that President Xi, Vladimir Putin, the mullahs in Iran, Kim Jong-un are ever going to have any respect for her. I don't believe that's true. Well, let me just point out, the news break you just had should be sobering for every American. If you now have Chinese and Russian military aircraft collaborating off the Alaskan coast, testing our capabilities, so it's a joint Chinese-Russian development, that's a very serious shift in the balance of military power. And I think that we ought to be aware of the fact that weakness by the Biden administration has encouraged the dictators to believe they can get away with virtually anything. And, of course, the Chinese a spy balloon that was the size of a school bus going all the way across the country without us doing anything was a good example of why they're getting bolder and bolder. But I found the story today that you had both Russian bombers and Chinese air, military aircraft as a group approaching our, our border. I think that's a very serious signal of how much trouble the Biden administration has created basically through a policy of weakness and appeasement. So I think it is, it's, it's dangerous for America and it's dangerous for the world. Yeah, let me ask you. So tonight I decided, part one, by the way, I have a lot more <clears throat> ammunition uh, in my uh, arsenal of truth telling and vetting. Uh, you did warn me that I might be going a little hard about Barack Obama, but compared to Barack Obama and Kamala Harris, Barack's a moderate. I mean, you heard her in her own words. What is your reaction to what you heard tonight? And what does every 18 to 24 year old think being called stupid by Kamala Harris? Well, first of all, I hope every 18 to 24 year old hears that because then they'll all vote for Trump. Uh, I think that would be helpful. But look, I don't think you can go too far with Kamala Harris. She is a San Francisco radical. Uh, she is to the left of Bernie Sanders. Uh, her views are uh, so far away from the average American that I'm, I'm very confident that as the American people discover the real Kamala, not the Washington news media Kamala, not the Hollywood movie made up Kamala, they find the real Kamala, how, what she, how she's voted, what bill she introduced, <clears throat> what she has said, I think she will melt like George McGovern and Mike Dukakis, because I, I think the average American will not want to have a radical San Francisco candidate who personifies everything, first of all, which has destroyed San Francisco. I mean, people will go there now and look at the human feces in the street, look at the drug syringes in the street, look at how much the, the population of homeless has exploded. Um, that's the city that she was the district attorney in. She represents its values. And by the way, she only got to be the presidential candidate because the super boss of San Francisco, Nancy Pelosi, empowered uh, Joe Biden into, just br brutalized him into having to uh, resign and then pivoted within an hour and began pushing Kamala. And so, so th this is the, one of the least American behaviors. This was a total coup against a sitting president of the United States by his own friends to drive him out of office, even when he'd gotten four and a half, 14 and a half million votes, and to replace him with their puppet, who got zero votes. She got no votes in, when she ran on her own in 2000, and she's never been on the ballot by herself. Uh, and yet now we're told by people who like Biden's speech tonight on the importance of democracy. Well, well if democracy matters, this. how can the Democrats, how can they nominate her? Let me ask you this. Among some Republicans and conservatives I know, um, there seems to be a little bit of fear. Oh, no, they thought it was going to be Joe. Oh, no, they, they fear the change. Most people don't know about Kamala Harris yet. They will know by the time early voting starts in 54 days and, and we're a little over 100 days away from Election Day. And, you know, what I'm, what I'm realizing is they don't know that this is a honeymoon period. 
They don't seem to understand that Democrats, the state-run media mob, are on a sugar high. When does that go away? Look, I, I was with the Bush campaign in 1988, when in the spring, we were 19 points behind Mike Dukakis. And all summer, we just told the truth. We talked about his record. We talked about what he had done. We didn't attack him as a person. We just said, and I, and I wouldn't attack her much as a person. I would just say, look, if you want a San Francisco radical who believes we ought to have millions of immigrants come in illegally, vote illegally, so they can give themselves welfare with your tax dollars, she's perfectly fine. If you want somebody who's anti-police, pro-criminal, she's perfectly fine. If you want somebody the teachers' union is going to own, who's going to wipe out school choice and block parents from being involved in their children's classroom, she's terrific. If you want somebody who's going to destroy the energy industry, says so publicly. She's going to destroy the energy. You know, yeah. her message when she was campaigning last time to Pennsylvanians was, well, we'll help you get transition jobs. Uh, those transition wow. jobs are never going to compare to the energy jobs they have in Western Pennsylvania. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.